Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to install Mac OS Sonoma and VMware inside our Windows PC. There are few requirements for your PC to fulfill at least to run Mac OS and Windows. Your PC must have 8 gigs or more RAM. Your PC must have Intel Core i5 8 generation or more or Ryzen 5 3rd generation or more. Your PC must have 150 gigs of free storage. Let's head back to our desktop. But before that, I have provided three links in my video description. You have to download those files in your PC. I have downloaded it in my D drive, inside VM folder followed by Mac folder. Run the VMware setup and install it as you install any game. Till the time it installs, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Only 0.7% audience subscribe my channel, that's horrible. Now here you need to click on license button, and I will be providing another link which will consist of real product key. Copy the product key and enter it in the dialog box. It works. Now unzip the zip file. Now run wininstall.cmd file by administrator and wait for few minutes. This will take few minutes, I will be back after it completes. Done, now open VMware and create a virtual machine. Create custom machine. Click next. Select I will install operating system layer. Now select Apple Mac OS X. In the submenu click the latest Mac OS 14. Now give a name to your beautiful virtual machine. I want to install the VM in my D directory inside VM folder followed by Mac folder. I will create a new folder called files inside that I will set my directory. I am selecting here four cores because my PC has eight cores and 12 threads. Here I will select 4096 megabytes of RAM which is equivalent to 4 gigabytes of RAM as my PC has 8 gigs of RAM. Remember, more RAM, greater performance. If you choose SATA, there won't be any problem, so go on. Allocate any storage amount you want. This won't affect your PC. Also choose store virtual disk in a single file. Once everything done, go to Virtual Machine and edit these changes. Select the ISO image which you downloaded which size is 14 GB almost. Now open the Virtual Machine directory. Open the .vmx file in Notepad, and you have to add some text which is provided in my description too. Just copy and paste it. You have to add smc.version equals zero. Save the file and run the virtual machine. If everything works fine, you will see Apple logo on your screen. Now wait for the installation setup to boot up. Select your desired language. Click on Disk Utility and click Continue, then select your disk and click on Erase. 
Remember formatting should be done in APFS method and click erase. Now after coming back you can install your Mac OS in your storage just like putting a strawberry in your cake. Now click continue. Accept license and agreement. Select your storage and click install. Now it will take few minutes depending upon your PC's performance. During this time, your VM will restart many a times, so don't be scared of it. If everything works fine, you will see this screen. Now you can set up according to your needs, but it is preferable to not to log in by your Apple ID. Well, Mac OS is installed, but the display resolution is still not fine. To fix this, you need to install VMware tools. From the top menu, you will find option to install the VMware tools. Now follow the steps. As I didn't ejected the CD, it's showing error. Let me eject it first. Click Install VMware Tools and install it when the dialog box appears. As you can see Mac not allowing me to install this software, so you have to open settings, don't know why so complicated security feature Mac has. In settings go to privacy, then scroll down, you will find the software, allow it and enter your password. Once the installation complete, restart your computer and boom. Congratulations, your Mac has successfully installed in correct way. If you have done this till now, you should clap for yourself and subscribe my channel too.